Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are finally doing our accent wall. So we are doing a board and batten accent wall. Board and batten? I think that's what it's called. You know, the little squares. Uh, so that is what we'll, we will be doing today. Um, we actually just started, as you guys can tell, or like we started this morning. And I did film an intro in the morning, but I was looking like a hot mess. So I figured I would go ahead and refilm it. You guys will see how hot of a mess I was looking like in the next couple of clips um but anyway so that is what we are working on today we did have to come to a stop um because we are going over to my mother-in-law's house we're having like a small get together there so today is saturday tomorrow sunday we should be able to finish everything up um you guys will see in a little bit again the clips everything that we did so far everything that we have already done um and we don't have like exact measurements my husband and i when we do diys we literally wing it we don't like pre-plan because i feel like every time that we have pre-planned and we never stick to the plan it always ends up being something else so we just kind of learn to just go with it i know that doesn't work for everyone a lot of people are like very organized and they want to have like a sketch of what they're doing and the measurements and all that we don't work that way um also material wise i feel like i planned it out pretty good i think we got everything so towards the end of the video i will have a recap of how much we spent on everything and i say towards the end because again we just started doing it we should be done tomorrow and we still need to go buy a few things um that i believe we are missing or we're gonna need more of so yeah that is what is happening today so if you guys want to see how this turns out and how we just wing it and figure it out as we go then please go ahead and keep on watching all right so we are gonna go ahead and get started so as you guys can see i have officially bought my own miter saw and stand so we have been using my brother-in-law's a miter saw for the past couple of projects however it was just time that we got ours and i will say i am very very excited this miter saw and more than anything the stand just made everything so much easier just because when we were using my brother-in-law's we didn't have a stand so we were using it on the floor which is not very convenient but i will say again i am super excited for this i will have everything that we use in the description box below that way if there is anything that you guys have a question on as far as tools goals or just materials in general everything will be linked down below so once we got the miter saw all set up i started spray painting the boards now this gun that i am using here this spray paint gun it is a by far the best thing that we have ever spent our money on it has made painting so much easier it is pretty affordable compared to other ones that we have seen and it really does the job so fast so if you need to invest in something or have been wanting to invest in something i highly recommend this one if you are doing a lot of painting around your house Now, once we were done with the boards, I went ahead and um, got the stud finder and started looking for the studs and then just marking it. This step is not necessary. However, we just kind of wanted to know where the studs were so that we could put as many boards as we possibly could onto the studs. And then moment of truth, I got to use my miter saw for the very first time. I actually was the first one to use it. I was so excited. But here I was just cutting the board because the wall across measured longer than 10 feet and the boards were only 10 feet long. So here I was just kind of measuring like 30,000 times and then just making sure that it was um, the right size so that I could go ahead and cut it down. And then here we are putting up the first border, which was the bottom. We started at the bottom. Um, there goes the piece that I cut. This is what I was uh, telling you guys that our wall across was really big. I honestly don't even remember the measurements to it, but just the board itself, the first one that's really long, that, that was 10 feet. And then the other one's probably like two, three feet long. Um, so about 13 feet across, but we just went ahead and started with the borders. All right, 
guys so just wanted to share a little bit of how we're doing this so as i told you guys the border is already done um so now we're trying to figure out the squares again we always wing it kind of as we go so as of right now each square we ended up with a total of six and then each one is 23 23 and a half inches wide so that's just kind of what we are going for again we had no idea how many squares we were going to do it was mostly just trying to figure out how big i actually wanted them so right now in a little bit we're gonna go ahead and start nailing all of these in we do have this set right here kind of to see how they're going to go um these are just pieces that were left over because in the top since our wall is so wide i think i already mentioned it we had to use two boards instead of one well one in like a quarter um so yeah so we're gonna go ahead nail these in see how we are going to do that um and then once we're done i'm gonna go ahead and pretty much just fill in all the nail holes sand them down and hopefully we can be done today it is the next day it is already sunday so my husband goes back to work on my tomorrow Worst case scenario, obviously, I can paint it by myself. Like, I don't need his help to paint. Um, but I'm trying to get it done tonight just so we can put everything back. Like, pull the bag, bed back and everything because I hate when the room is messy. But, yeah. So, again, we didn't have anything. I literally just... We measured the wall. I divided it by five, then by six. And whatever just kind of ended up looking better, that's what we went for. We didn't use, like, a specific strategy other than measuring and then dividing it by however many squares i want it so anyways let's go ahead and get these bad boys on so here we started putting the boards on and you'll see right now in a little bit we start running into the issue where the nail gun wasn't putting the nails through now this nail gun uh we do use it with a compressor it is actually my brother-in-law's nail gun and that morning we actually went to go buy our own nail gun but we didn't bring the right nail or actually we didn't buy any nails for it we thought that the ones the other nail gun had were going to fit but they didn't so i told my husband go to the store and grab them and he's like no let's just finish up with this one it made so many holes into the board or i should say my husband made so many uh holes on the board because the nails weren't going through and then towards the end, I did end up using ours and I was so mad because the holes that our new nail gun made were so tiny. I could have saved myself so much time. Um, so biggest advice to you is if you are going to be doing a DIY project, make sure that you have one, the right tools and that you have good tools because as you guys can see on that board right now, it literally has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It has five, it has six holes. And out of those six holes, only two had an actual nail in them. But anyway, so here I am closing out the squares. I ended up doing a total of four. The bottom one, as you can tell, is a little bit smaller than the rest, but I didn't really mind. Again, I just winged it. I, I think the measurement of the actual square was 23 and a half by 24. Um, that's how big the squares were. I just made sure that they were straight. I didn't use anything. I saw a lot of people that use boards to make sure they, they were the exact same size. I honestly just eyed it because again, we just wing everything around here. And then the last step that I did for the night was I just went ahead and caulked the squares just to make sure they looked clean. Um, this took quite a bit of time, surprisingly. I think this is probably what took me the longest on this day, but I just wanted to make sure that the squares were looking pretty nice and clean. Alright guys, so it is the final day. So last night we finished up all the squares as you guys saw. Uh, we put up all the boards, um, the caulking's done. Pretty much everything is done. All I need to do right now is go ahead and sand everything down, which is probably what's going to take the longest. Um, and then after that, I am going to start painting. It is Monday, day three. I feel like if had we worked on it all day Saturday, 
um, we probably would have finished Sunday morning. I'm almost sure that you can finish it in one day. Um, like literally working all day from like 7 in the morning up until like 9, 10 o'clock at night. So we started on Saturday, but then Saturday evening we had a family gathering. So we went to that. And then Sunday we didn't, well yesterday, we didn't start working on the wall till like about 1 o'clock. Um... And I finished at 9. Like, I stopped working on it at 9 o'clock. And then right now, again, I'm just going to sand it down, paint. But um, I am loving it, and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and start sanding everything down. Running for you. I am running for you. I am running for you. So we are done sanding. I already vacuumed everything. So it is go time. I'm about to start painting. Um, we luckily do have a sprayer um, that we bought a while back. So I'm not going to hand paint it. I am going to be spraying it. I might hand paint like the edges. But for now, I'm only going to do the middle part because I don't want the paint to go everywhere. The sprayer isn't like super extra powerful to where at least I think <laughs> that it's not going to like paint like crazy like all over the place. But We'll see right now. Let's pray that I don't make a mess. You guys, I cannot stress enough how much I love this spray gun. It made everything so much easier. As you guys know, I am a stay-at-home mom. I stay at home with my three-year-old and my five-year-old. So luckily, they were pretty busy like watching TV. I let them watch TV, be on their iPads just so I could finish. But I think I did the entire wall with two coats in less than an hour. So I was super excited that I was able to finish it and it didn't take up too much of my time because again, I do have the babies at home with me. But if I can recommend or would recommend something from all the tools that we bought, it would definitely be this one. All right guys, so I am officially done with my room. I will say it was definitely a pain trying to figure out the like sizing of the squares. But it was so worth it. I love how it looks. I literally cannot stop staring at it. And it was just definitely worth the migraine that I got throughout the process. But anyway, so I'm just going to try and keep it short. So I'm going to tell you guys exactly how much we spent on everything. So I ended up using um, the boards were 10 feet um, long and then the width was three and a half. Online, it says four inches. But when we measured them at home, they weren't four inches. There were three and a half. Um, but anyway, so I ended up using a total of 14 boards plus the nails and the caulking. Um, I ended up spending a total of $176 on just the supplies, which for me, I feel like it wasn't too expensive because of the way it looks. I think it looks beautiful and it was definitely worth the money. Um, I know that in the video, I did show you guys that we bought tools. Obviously, if you already have the tools, you don't need them. Um, but because we literally have no tools, every time we have we use tools, we use my brother-in-law's because I know I've mentioned it before, but he does work on new builds. Um, so he has a bunch of tools. So typically we don't ever buy tools. So just always say like, hey, make sure you guys don't buy tools. Just ask me for them. But since I do want to start our own stuff and they, my sister and my brother-in-law do a lot of work on their home as well. I don't want to keep the tools from them and I just, you know, I just rather we grab our own. But anyway, so for the miter saw, we paid $399, so $400 for the miter saw. Um, the bench was $210 and then the nail gun that we got, which I don't think I showed at all in the video just because we only used it towards the end. So we did get a nail, uh, nail -less, a cordless nail gun and it was the nail gun, the battery charger and the battery for $319. So we did spend quite a bit on supplies, but again, it is because I am planning to do some more DIYs. Pretty much every room in this house at some point is going to have some sort of accent wall. So we just ended up grabbing everything that we needed. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip of how our master bedroom looked before. Life is a winding road. 
really quick, I am going to insert a clip of just the wall itself before I put any furniture back. So here goes that clip. All right, guys, I am officially done. That is a two coats of paint. I am so excited. I started to put stuff back and then I realized I didn't show you guys the wall. But as you guys can see, we left the baseboard on. I just painted over the outlets. I was supposed to take them off, but as I was painting, I completely forgot. And then I was like, oh, well, it doesn't look bad. It just blends in anyways. I mean, worst case scenario, I can just buy another one. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love it so much. It looks so good. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back. And then I'll show you guys the final result. And now for the grand finale, here is our new lovely pinterest looking like master bedroom driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down In the comments how do you think i did and i said i because i know that throughout the video you guys saw that pretty much everything that my husband did was hold the boards for me and just like help me measure some things here and there but i will 100 percent take credit for that wall because i practically did it all by myself and i am so proud of me for doing it and sticking through it because if you guys know me personally i have zero patience and the fact that i was able to pull through this project i definitely give myself props for that but yeah let me know in the comments what do you guys think again everything that i used will be linked in the description box below but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye